YouTube Crafters Autonomous. Hey guys, I'm a guest on Crafters Autonomous today. Hey Crafters, shameless plug for my dad's channel. It is Boone Down South. Please, 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 please go check it out and please subscribe. He posts these really cool videos about his outdoor adventures and photography and fishing and kayaking. And he has just as many, if not more, views on his channel as I do, but he doesn't have as many subs because he always forgets to ask people to sub. So anyways, right now I'm asking you that if you like my channel, please go over and do my dad a favor and sub to his channel so we can reach that 1000 mark. Thank you so much guys for the support. And we're gonna show you the night sky star mural. So basically um, I bought this years ago to do the girls rooms. And basically what happened is we, uh, on a family business trip, we stayed in this hotel room one night and we turned the lights off and all of a sudden all of us were like, oh my goodness, check it out. And they had a professional artist come in and they painted the ceiling where it was glowing dark stars. Pause. So the way my dad's talking about it, he makes it sound like it was this like luxurious hotel and then like brought in this professional designer, blah, blah, blah. What you've got to understand is this was like a dinky Super 8 uh, when we were traveling and we were down in Beaufort, South Carolina. And anyways, it was cool after the fact, but we had no idea that it was done. There wasn't his card like in the room. We had to like talk to the front desk to get his card. We had no idea what was going on because we shut the lights off to go to bed and all of a sudden there's these like glowing things on the wall and whereas our eyes are adjusting to the light and we're like is that a palm tree staring at us so it was a little unnerving at first but then once you looked up at the stars it was very nice so the stars are cool but my experience wasn't quite the same as the way my dad's telling it so i looked into how do we do this and i found this uh stencil mural by ursa major you can get this online and i said i had this years ago stencils are reusable this is an example of the stencils here uh, with the star patterns and then what I've done, it also comes with paint and all kind of stuff to, to get you going. But I researched the glow in the dark paint. I got this from Glow Ink. And this is their, let's check it out, their uh, ultra blue water based glow in the dark paint. This particular paint, from what I found, all glow in the dark paint is not created equal. But if I'm not mistaken, their website stated that that has an 8 to 10 hour glow time. Okay, so it's not something that just fades out in five minutes after the lights are out and you see it for a couple seconds it goes off. Actually, the longer your eyes get used to the dark, the more stars you start to see, which is really cool. So we've got a rental cabin here and we're gonna do this on the second floor. And the cool thing about it with the white ceiling, you really don't see this paint during the day. They'll never know it. And so I'm really hoping the guests are gonna come in here. Probably more of the kids will be down in this room because this is where most of the, the play area is and the, the, the fun and games kind of thing. The, the parents are gonna be in the master upstairs, but the kids will probably be in the master on this middle level. And uh, when they go to bed at night, they're gonna turn the lights off and they're gonna look up and they're gonna see these stars and they're gonna see more and more as night goes and they're gonna be so cool. So that's what I'm, I'm shooting for, for a good guest experience uh, here. So we're gonna show you how this works and you can see if you like it or not. All right, so I'm just loosening this. We should just lower this down to try to give us a little more room for the tape to get in there. Or for the paper to get the stencils to get in there. All right, we'll kill the lights to see if the lights are there because we've got some you know, wires up here. Nothing should be bare. Everything looks like it's, it's situated. Just trying to clear up some more room for the stencil fits in a little better. So that's what we're doing. Safety first, guys. So as y'all are putting this up, some of your previous panels may need a sack, so you may discover you need more tape. So just be aware of that because we actually taped it up last night. We did two of these panels, went out for dinner, came back a few hours later, and they had fallen down because we hadn't used enough tape. So you wanna make sure it's really secure on your ceiling. We also carefully notched it out around the ceiling fan. We cut a long slit in this way, and then we cut slits on either side to give it some ability to fold back 
out of the way. Unfortunately, there weren't a ton of stars in this section. So we finally have all five panels taped up. And let me tell you, this takes a village. You're not gonna do this as a one-man job. Two-man job is still gonna be hard. We did it with four people and village. even, yes, a village. village. That's why I said it takes a village. Thank you for that addition. <laughs> Boone from Boone Down South. Some bits of advice. Peel off a bunch of pieces of tape in advance and tape them like on your shoulders. My sister taped them on her face. Just so that we have some already prepared pieces of tape that are easily accessible because you're gonna have to hold this up, hold it in place so that way the weight of it doesn't drag your previous tape pieces down. But you're gonna not really have two hands free to tear off new pieces of tape or have a specified tape person, just some different thoughts. Also, your shoulders will be killing you by the time you're done with the ceiling, just a fair warning. Okay, what are you guys doing with the plastic, let's, mom? Let's, let's, let's run this. Drop cloth, because if you drop paint, you strip it on the floor, then you end up with a glow in the dark floor. Just you mean like those pieces of carpet in our bedroom, mom? Yes. What? Yeah, but it's not as good looking on the floor. It's on his friend. That's when it's a bummer. So that's the glow dark paint we're gonna use. Notice it's not going to dark on that side. Yeah, here, close the door. That's so Ooh. cool. Turn it's a out. ghost! Oh, because this is where the paint was. There was no paint back here. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't get as much light. Because okay. it needs the light to charge up. Just for clarification for those watching back home, this paint is how many years old, Dad? It's it's pretty old. We're gonna try to make it work. It's all goopy. It's probably 10 years old. So when you get your paint, it shouldn't look like this, okay? We're, we put up the whole thing like before even knowing if this is actually gonna work or not, just so that way everyone's aware. It looks like frosting. It does. You <laughs> should eat it and your organs can glow. Don't eat it, guys. Don't eat it. What was I saying about safety? Safety for That's right. Mom knows what's up. But I will say this paint was pretty thick, even when it was like brand new in the way it was supposed to be. I don't think it was this thick. But it wasn't this thick, no. <laughs> well, it still glows in the dark, so. Yeah, so there's something to it still. It does look yummy, like frosting. <laughs> Guys, don't eat this paint no matter how tempted hey, you are. I'm a little nervous when parts of it are in the dark. Well, because the only parts of it we're supposed to light, Dad. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. It's turning into an ASMR video. Do you know what those are, Dad? ASMR video? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, no worries. All right, so with this, we're just using these little brushes, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some of that off, like so. We're trying to make it shorter because of how we do the star technique. I can't see what I'm doing. Because if we left it like this, the way we dab would make huge stars. So by going shorter, make smaller stars. And really, part of the beauty of this is they look like stars because they're small. And then. Like actual stars. And I'll do this. Yes. To bend now. That still seems too big, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, that could be for the big stars, okay? okay? So we just dab this in the paint and go like that, boom. Actually, what I think when you do some of we just do dots, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we don't splay it out. So I want to make this one even shorter. All right, I'm gonna go real short with this, maybe I can cut it off. Oops, right. ah! down all the way, you know, is it? Yeah, okay. Then I'm gonna just dip and touch, so I got some different star sizes. Okay, so let's go start with this and see what we can do. All right, let's go. My little baby paint palette. Yo, the little have... holes I'm just kind of painting over, the other ones I'm kind of just pushing in there and I'm just putting a little bit on the brush. So guys, there's lots of really cool ways to do this, and obviously if you do it better, it'll turn out better, but it's also very, well hang on, better. Wow. I wasn't done yet, but That's it's also, profound. but it's also very <laughs> forgiving, is what I'm saying. It'll turn out better, wow. All right, My hey, point is it's very Somebody forgiving, if you don't do it perfectly. Balls, Watch out. And this is what I get for trying to film a video with my family. <laughs> All right, so we've already painted the rest of the ceiling. Where the stencil is. 
where the stencil is. And now we got a little bit more. We thought about moving the stencils, but they might still have wet paint on them and stuff. So we're just gonna freehand some in here. My hope so, is I'm not doing them too big. But it's also watered down, so. so. And is your shirt on the inside out, Amanda? Well, yes. So listen, I didn't pack for 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 painting, but I adapted and improvised and I overcame. Okay. All right, guys. So we finished painting the ceiling. I also did just some freehand stuff up there and it was really hard because I was standing over the tub. But we got it done and we will show you the results and hopefully it turned out good. Yo! <laughs> hey, it all, we got it done in less than two hours. Perfect. Okay. Putting the stencil okay. up honestly takes just as long as painting if not longer. And we had several times had to retape the stencil while we were painting because it kept falling, but it worked out and it's still staying, so we'll see. We're taking the stuff down now, so um, try to be real careful that we don't rip the stencil. Have you touched like the stencil to see if the paint on this side of the stencil is dry? Uh, it's touching my hair all the whole time, so. Okay. You see it going dark in my hair? I don't know, I'll have to look right in. That's just something to consider, make sure it's not super damp when you take it down, so that way if it hits the floor, hits the bedding or whatever, so that you don't make everything glow in the dark. Now, I will tell you, we just finished the project, turned the lights out with the, let everything chart. It looks fantastic. It looks just as good as the one we did before years ago. Made some comments in this one. So I think the guests that'll be coming to this cabin are gonna have a really cool experience. They don't know about it. Turn off the lights and they're gonna see the same these stars just appear in the sky. It's gonna be so cool. But um, what I wanna show you is, I had this brush, and again, it's, it's kind of goopy. But for the comment, what I did, is I kind of loaded a little up my brush, and you wouldn't normally have it like this because your paint's not going to be thick and goopy. This is eight-year-old paint. They still sell this stuff, high visibility stuff. It's very bright, lasts a good eight to ten hours, I believe. And what I did is I kind of just smushed it on there, kind of got me a circle, out like that, which is going to be bigger than my stars, okay? And you kind of see that. Now, you don't see this on a white ceiling, though. It just kind of blends in, especially if the ceiling's textured. You won't see that at all. And so then what I did, only because... This is the paint that comes with the uh, Ursa Major kit, and this is also about eight years old, but it was a little runnier than the other. So what I did was, this has a finer edge on it, and then what I did is I kind of went into the runny stuff here, and then what I did is I basically brushed out from the middle, I just kind of brought it out like this, like so, and then come back here and try to come from the edges, to kind of bring it out like that, kind of give it some shape. Going back out, and I just try to do a thin line heading out, like such. And uh, when you turn the lights out, maybe you'll be able to see it or not, what that looks like. But uh, again, I'm using eight-year-old paint, but I got to tell you, it, it it turned out looking great. I was able to get a picture of it with my camera with a about a minute and a half long exposure, and I was able to pick up some stars, a little bit of star field. So we'll show you some picture, a, a picture. <laughs> 